bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Paolo De Rosario. We give you the conversations you want to hear from your favorite icons and athletes. I'm Diego Dario. Watch the game live and their past episodes on demand on the Filipinas Live app for just 99 pesos a month. Available for download on Google Play or the App Store. 99 lang? Grabe. 99 lang. Mm. Buckle up sports fans. Let's get in the game. Well, in just seven days, the biggest basketball event will be happening here in Manila. The 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup opens on August 25 at the Philippine Arena where Gilas Pilipinas takes on the Dominican Republic at 8 p.m. Now, of course, steering team Pilipinas will be the guards of Gilas Pilipinas. And with the final 12 yet to be announced, let's break down the floor generals of Gilas and what they have to offer with basketball analyst coach Luigi Trillo. Welcome to the studio, coach. Welcome, coach. Great Dave, to find you. Nice to see game. you, pal. Yeah. Jegs, you guys I, looking good? I, I hate the screen, okay? You look too good to be on the screen. The screen, yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely. Coach, so hard questions here because there are just so many great guards to choose from. Right. If you're coach Chotreyes and you're trying to figure out the guard rotation for this FIBA Basketball World Cup, what are you considering, and of course, uh, just how difficult is that task? I think you can you can make a point for all the guards here, right? But as we're getting closer in, I think uh, that friendly tournament will give each guard an opportunity to show what he can bring. Mm -hmm. um, you you look at everyone; they they have their own strengths, um, and I think this friendlies will. I think it'll be it'll give a, them a chance to choose already who they're gonna be. I I personally believe with a with a rotation of 12, that you have to have at least three point guards. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about uh, those guys, they have, each one has their strengths. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Coach Tot will have a chance to take a look at these guards because they have a tune up later on tonight at 8 p.m. against the Ivory Coast, the first of three happening here before the World Cup. Now, Coach, let's talk about the individual guards here that are, that's left here in the pool. And of course, but but tayo lali, coach. Let's talk about my teammate, um, your player coach for a long, long time, Chris Newsom. What does he bring to the table for Gilas Pilipinas? Well, Chris, like Scotty, brings a lot of the intangibles. He's smart. Right. Um, you know, he you can move him to different positions. So he can play the two spot. He can play the one spot. The thing I I think that Chris brings to the table that's most important is he can be their defensive stopper. Yeah. So as a change-up. So obviously you have Scotty who starts if Scotty's healthy. Uh, Jordan Clarkson can play the point. But you're looking at what each can bring. And I think Nu is one guy there where if they have to slow down a guard and you need to change it up a bit, uh, that's the strength of Nu. Uh, you mentioned the, the fact that Coach Chot now uses him as a this defensive stopper. What, do you, what makes him special in that department? Considering that even in China, they used him as the primary stopper for the best player of the opponents, at least Pre on paper. Pressuring full court even. Full court yeah. pressure. It's as if he was back in college. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the thing with Nu that I notice is, first of all, he's very athletic. Mm -hmm. He's long. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, Nu has played multiple positions. In Ateneo, he played the power forward. Right. So he's played one, one, two, three, four. You know? But the thing I, I, I think Nu brings is he's also smart. And he can get, if he sets his mind into it, he can get detailed. And okay. I know for a fact the coaching staff, you know, you, you try to put in a system in terms of your defense, right? So, so now I think he's kind of shown that he's done that in big games for them. And mm -hmm. I think he's going to be pivotal in what they do. I, I think more than his scoring, it's the, it's the intangibles that mm -hmm. Nu's going to bring to the table. And talking about intangibles, he's such a great leader, very vocal on yep. the floor, uh, talking about Chris. But let's move on to the next guy, Coach, Kiefer Avena. He's been steady all throughout here for Gilas Filipinas. You know, the, the thing that Kiefer brings is stability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in a, in a tournament like this, you don't want anybody to go down, right? But if you have 12 players, not having your point guard is like, you know, you're... You, uh, is point guard is the most important uh, player for me in terms of bringing a team. Right. Yeah. And if you know you've got guys who can play point guard, like Jordan Clarkson is a two. He can he can play the point. Yeah. New is a two three. He can play the point. Now Dwight, CJ, all these guys, the ball in hand. But Kiefer, he really grew up True playing point. the point. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know they'll they'll some guys will say about things he needs to improve on. I think you know. Uh, 
knowing him, he's a competitor and he's a warrior. And uh, we've had guys in that position that are smaller, uh, case in point, Jimmy. Right. But you look now, who fits in? Yeah. Right? So I think they really need to see this and cover all angles. So you, you have Scotty who's healthy, you have Jordan Clarkson who you can put the ball in. Um, but I think uh, looking at Kiefer, and I'm just looking at the strengths, like I see Nu that he has a strength. Kiefer is a natural point guard, and I think that's very, very important in the world settings. Plus, he has the experience. You know, we have to move on to the other guards here, Coach, but then uh, just a quick one here on uh, Kiefer. Do you feel that he is probably the point guard that can run the offense the best at the very least? Well, looking at it, he's played that his whole life, mm. right? So he's very comfortable in that spot. Now, obviously, the world stage, you have bigger athletes, you have more athletic athletes, but... Um, you know, you look at the team, who is a true point guard, right? Yeah. right? Scotty grew up, he adjusted to being a point guard, right? And then though he's the first point guard, okay, Scotty's here, JC can move. But you have guys like Nu who can be a point guard, but I think there has to be one more point guard just in case it, it doesn't go in. It, all of these guys can all make it, yeah. and there's, there's no right or wrong answer, and I think it's such a hard decision for the coaches. Mahirap talaga. And I think the, what they will look at is analytics. Yeah. Right. These next three games, they'll see who is who's the steadiest, who can make their shots, who can make the best decisions. Mm -hmm. And and you, you get the guys who are playing well now. Yeah. So I think this, this uh, next three, three games, I also feel that this is a time for the coaching staff, maybe, I, I'm, I might be reading it wrong, where you have three games before we, we go on the jump ball. And I think the 16 players, you don't get a feel of the minutes. Mm -hmm. So I think looking at them, they might use 16, maybe I'm wrong, but this might be a chance for them to use 12 and 13 and see if they can yeah. uh, already get, yeah. uh, get a feel. You yeah. know, I mean, you're not only looking at the 11, 12, more than that. You're the, those 10 players, you want to get sure that the minutes are normal minutes in the game. Yeah, uh, I actually feel, Coach, uh, from the reports I've read, that they are going to rotate the... 12-man lineups in every friendly. So I mm -hmm. think that's what's going to be happening for the team. Uh, we have to move on here to the points guard of this group. Uh, it'll be <laughs> CJ Perez, uh, Diego's favorite type of player. He's score palagi. Uh, he does something different in the sense that he probably puts the most pressure on the rim compared to any of these guys. Yeah. One thing you want is he's in attack mode, right? Time, so yeah. if, if you're looking to see who can adjust at the point guard, you might have a game there where some of these guys don't put as much ball pressure, right? But the one thing that CJ does is he draws the defense. Right. And in the dribble drive and the pick and roll, you need a guy who's athletic enough that can get to the rim. Mm -hmm. So obviously CJ, CJ is also a streaky guy. When he makes his shots, he makes it. But the one thing he brings is, uh, I think Kiefer is a bit smaller. Yeah. Kiefer is more of a point guard, more can facilitate. But CJ is a, a guy that you probably could have as a 10th, 11th guy that if you put in there as a game changer, you know, he's, he's someone that can turn things around for the Philippine team. Right. And when you talk about CJ Perez, he had, he's adjusting actually currently to the point guard position. And talk about Scotty Thompson, coach. Medyo nag adjust na siya. He's been playing point in the PBA. What can you see with Scotty here in the international game if he's healthy? Yeah, we hope and pray that Scotty's healthy first. Yeah. And you know, Scotty's very unselfish, right? Yep. And you want guys that, that make right decisions. With Scotty, he's always he makes the right decision. He's at the right place at the right time. Right. He's not afraid to bang. Yeah. Um, you know, he's the MVP of the PBA. You want the best play, players playing 100%. And there's no doubt he's going he's gonna to play, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just fascinated with him as how he's evolved from a 2-3 guard to a 1. Yeah. And he's taken that role, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes as a point guard, you have to be unselfish. And you have to have some spunk in you. And, you know, Scott, Scotty is, is great. So I, I, look, I look to them using Scotty a lot. Um, and he should, they, from what I'm hearing, he's really the starting point guard, mm -hmm. right? But um, a, lot, a lot of point guards here. We haven't even spoken about Jordan Clarkson. Actually, I was going to bring that up, Coach, <laughs> uh, because uh, he's probably the only guy that will be 100% sure, sure in, in, yeah. this, uh, in this group. But how important is it? that we pick a guy, or actually Coach Chot Reyes picks a guy that can play alongside a Jordan Clarkson and doesn't just fade or at least you know stop being that type of player that we just talked about uh, alongside him. I, I think you're going to see two different things. I think you're going to see a guy bring on the ball where Jordan doesn't have to have 
he can rest and he can just operate on a being attack mode, right? And I think he cannot be point guard the whole game. He can, but I'm saying there will be times where you'll see different lineups. The yep. different lineup meaning when Clarkson's on the floor, you're going to put guys with him who probably they feel, maybe the coaches will discuss things, they feel that can spread the floor for them, right? right? Who can make their threes. Uh, because Clarkson will demand the double team when yep. he has the ball. Or they might just want to change it up and go bigger or more athletic. Right. You know what I mean? So there, there are multiple things you can do. If you feel that you want to control the game, you can go to, to Scotty, you can go to Keith. Um, but if you want to change it up, that's also good for uh, the uh, Gilas, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's a different thing. And you'll see two, two different uh, groups. And if, if I may, I think these next three games will give them an opportunity to get their flow, the first and the second group. Yeah. Or guys get a feel of each other. Because yeah. uh, before you had 16, you could play 16. Now, they have to get a feel of the minutes they're getting. So, um, again, it's who plays well together. Right. Right, so it, all these guys are talented. All these guys have have a all uh, deserving, all yeah. deserving, all deserving. But it's it's sometimes it's not anymore the best plan, talent. It's who can get you the results. Yeah, who, I mean, who, coach, fit. as usual, every day I learn from you in practice. Uh, every time we have conversations, we learned a lot from you today, coach. And thank you so sip, much. Sip. Thank you for the time. <laughs> thank you, coach. Appreciate you. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> and after the break. We've got a special brand new segment called The Shot List featuring Aguilas and a PBA legend. Stay tuned, you're watching The Game. Welcome back, you're watching the game. As the whole nation looks ahead to the FIBA Basketball World Cup, Gilas Filipinas legend and three-time PBA champion Paul Lee sat down with Mike Urias in this brand new segment called The Shot List. What's up guys, it's your sports Tito Mike Urias. But today, Mr. Shoot first, ulit muna tayo. All right, because this is The Shot List wherein we talk to the best athletes and the best basketball players ngayon. At syempre, first episode natin, hindi pwedeng... We have to start with the back. We have to start with Angas. So we have here, Mr. Angas ng Tondo. The one, the only lethal weapon, Paul Lee. Brother, kumusta ka? Okay naman, okay naman. Bro, salamat, uh, salamat na na-invita mo ako dito sa show na to. 
And yes, napagpahinga naman na. Coming into the PPA on tour, ano yung naging mindset ninyo na parang, parang in-season kayo nun? Um, bago mag-start yung PBA on tour namin, nagkaroon kami ng short meeting. Uh, as in, yung, yung buong team nagkaroon ng meeting na parang magsiset kami ng goal. And uh, yun nga, pinigir out namin ano, uh, yung size stats, numbers, yung about sa plays namin, offense and defensively. Uh, parang tinignan namin kung saan kami nagkukulang, bakit kami nag-short every conference. So, ayun, hopefully na ano, na, na figure out namin kung ano yung kulang sa amin and uh, na napakita na naman namin sa sa PBA yon po. Pero again, uh, iba yung regular ano, <laughs> iba yung regular season, iba yung regular conference ng PBA. And of course, iba yung playoffs. Oh, so, iba pa yon, so, yes, uh, So, sana na na figure out namin and uh, magtuloy-tuloy yung progress namin sa sa team. Well, wala namang mas gaganda sa 11-0, di ba? 11-0. Wala namang mas gaganda doon. Pero yun nga, being one of the vets, alam mo din na yep. kailangan mong i-ground lahat. Marami pa, marami pa. Lalo na yung mga bagong, ganda na nilaro ni James Laput. Ang ganda yes, na nilaro yes. na ng Morel. Uh, yun lang yung ano, one thing na nakita namin na, na positive din is uh, nakita namin si, si James na nag-improve siya. And uh, nakita namin si David and uh, Abu, Abu na nag-blend in naman ng maayos sa team. So, I wish na ano, uh, magandang tulong para sa team namin. Bago ako umalis ng Magnolia, malapit na yung draft, meron kayong pick either way, maybe second, third round, mm. or even fourth, fifth round, di ba? Hindi yeah. naman hanggang mag-pass naman, di ba? If there was a, kumbaga, if there was a player, a player na kakailangan ninyo, anong type of player ang tingin mo pwede nyo i-draft? Yung pwedeng project, pwedeng ano, yung anong posisyon, anong role lang kakailanganin niyo. Sa dami niyong magagaling. <laughs> Siguro ano, Potter pina, boy. Pina, pina, Potter. Pina naman talaga namin, ano eh. Big man talaga. Big man pa din, no? Oh, big man kasi, uh, lalo na dumating si David sa amin. So, nadagdagan kami ng three guard. Tapos, uh, nandyan pa naman yung pinakabata namin guard, si Mark Baroka. <laughs> So, pag nakita mo siya, parang ano eh. Parang 25 eh. Parang 25 years old lang eh. So, parang mapapadalawang isip ka na, kailangan pa ba natin drum up ng guard? Pag nakita mo siya, parang naluloko lang ng edad eh, di ba? So, I think, ang um, pinakailangan talaga namin yung solid big man. Pero, syempre, pagbalik naman ni Ian. Yeah. And, uh, yun nga, yung pagka, paglabas ng laro ni James. So, it's a big help. So, and especially because medyo later rounds kayo, malakas naman kayo, medyo maganda may project big kayo, di ba? Yep. For the later, yep. for the future ng Magnolia. Okay, usog tayo ngayon, away from the PBA, international tayo. Kasi malapit oh, ng World Cup, or kung lumabas man to during the World Cup or after yes, the World yes. Cup. Ano initial thoughts mo? Because kanina nagkwekwentuhan tayo, syempre may tune-up tour ang gilas, di ba? Kung sino-sino mm. tune-up talaga, naka-tune up ninyo. Ano yung initial thoughts mo sa, sa lineup sa pool ng gilas? Um, overall, malakas yung ano eh, malakas naman yung lineup natin. So, uh, include mo si JC, di ba? And hopefully si si Kai umabot dun sa ano, sa sa World Cup talaga. Uh, malaking malaking help yun kasi si si Kai na exposed na rin sa international game. So, sana umabot siya ay na maging umabot siya ng healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hindi lang basta umabot. Oh, pangit naman yung Sige, paabutin natin, pero... Pilit. Pilit, di ba? Baka hindi rin makapag-produce ng magandang numbers si Kai. Uh, thoughts ko lang is, ano, uh, nakapagdalawang World Cup kasi ako. So, mm-hmm. nung 2014 and 2019. So, nung 2014 is, yung preparation namin, grabe. Mm-hmm. And then, yung World Cup namin nung 2019, ganun lang yung preparation namin. So, alam mo. So, dalawa lang ano ko. Yung preparation namin 2014, sobrang grabe. Kumuklose games kami. Nandun yung game lagi. Noong 2019, ganun lang. Lagi kami tambak. Yeah. So, yun lang. Yun na yung pinaka-explanation ko. So, sana enough yung preparation natin going to the to the World Cup ngayon. Kasi, syempre, alam naman natin yung laro sa international. Mm, diba? Diba? Pagka one, one bad start, pwede nang matapos yung laro dun. Diba? So, kailangan... Sobrang ready talaga ng mga players natin na uh, yung physical, syempre, pati yung mental talaga na, ano, na kailangan nila going to the World Cup. Is there anyone in particular sa World Cup, um, sa, sa pool natin, uh, you were most impressed with 
or most impressed by nung naka-tune up ninyo. Nakikita mo ngayon from afar, nakakalaro mo siguro kung sa PBA man or nakapapanood natin abroad or mga dati. Sino dun yung parang na-impress ka? Feeling mo magbe-breakout ngayon as a as an international star? Baga. Actually, lahat naman nakapaglaro na sa na-expose naman ah. na lahat sa international. Pero na-impress lang ako kay Kid White Ramos. Galing talaga yun. Galing talaga siya. Uh, walang ano. <laughs> Saka pugi din pala. <laughs> Walang mali sa kanya. Oh, nakausap ko si Pugoy. <laughs> nakausap ko si Pugoy. Sabi niya, Sabi bakit ganun? <laughs> Naligo naman ako kaninang umaga. Tapos ito, parang kakatayo lang sa kama. Parang mas... <laughs> Ang hirap mas, eh, no? Mas pugi pa rin siya. <laughs> oh, Ang hirap kalaban, bro. Ngayon, Paano ako bantayan? Pagaling talaga ako sa magaling. Magaling. Pero, Tsaka, ano? Lakas, lakas pa rin ng kapawan. Ano? Katawan. Oh, bro. Tsaka, buti na lang, hindi rin nakapaglaro ng UAT. Kawawa lahat pag naglaro yun, bro. Nakawa ako sa mga player ng UAP. <laughs> parang ano, yeah. uh, cheat code yun, bro. Sobra. Nung una, parang ako oh, eh. Pero pag naparoon mo pala ng, ng live, personal si, si Dwight. Galing talaga. Galing talaga. Tsaka walang sayang na galaw mo. Ang uno, parang nakaka, no, na, nabibilib ako sa kanya. Yung hindi niya pinipwersa, yung laro. Pero... Nakashoot. <laughs> oh alam mo yun. Sobrang parang effortless na... Sige, double team nyo ko, pasa ko. Abang ulit ako. Mamaya, pag nagkaroon ng opportunity, doon lang ako. Tapos hindi nagbabago yung mukha, no? <laughs> Isa pa yun. Yung parang... Na- naalala ko may isang <laughs> game. May isang game, may nadakdakan siya. Pagdang niya, parang wala lang. Pakbo lang siya ulit. Balik sa depensa. Alam mo yun, mas nakakainis yung ganun eh, kesa yung... Pogi pa, yun, no? Oh. Pogi pa. Yung masaklap, hindi mo rin ma-blame eh. Hindi <laughs> mo ma-blame, hindi mo ma-blame. Ma-blame. Yeah. Parang ano, love siya ni Lord, bro. Kaya nga. Love siya ni Lord. Nagtapo ng... ng tulog tayo nun eh. Tulog tayo nun, Brad. Yeah, Nung nagtapo ng kapugi yan, nakadapa kami ni Paul nun eh. Yan <laughs> yung mabigat eh. Pero totoo, very impressive si Dwight. Yep. And hopefully one day, uh, mapanood natin siya dito sa Pilipinas. Yes, Maglaro, yes, yes. Kung ano mangyayari. Gusto ko lamaan na dito yung love mo for coffee. Kasi okay. nandito tayo ngayon sa coffee shop ni Paul. Yes, yes. Is yung Cafe Lights. Saan ang galing itong ano to? Itong, ano ba to? Hobby mo ba to? Saan ang galing yung interest mo sa kape? Uh, nag-start yan sa, ano, sa, sa brother ko. Kasi yung brother ko at saka yung wife niya, uh, nagtatrabaho sila sa Dubai before mm. coffee shop din. Okay. And then, yeah, pandemic happened. Bumalik sila dito sa, sa Pilipinas. Tapos, Itong Coffee Light, uh, tinayo na nila to 2020 pa. So sila muna? Oo, oh, sila talaga okay. yan. Tapos, uh, yun hanggang sa parang nagkaturo na ako sa kanyang magkape. So ngayon, doon nag-start hanggang sa nagkaroon na ako ng sarili kong coffee machine sa bahay. Oo, oh, tama. Tapos, so, gumagawa ka pa ng mga dahon, di ba? Hanggang sa tinuro nila ako mag, mag latte art. So medyo marunong din tayo, pero hindi tayo ganun kagaling. Kung baga, <laughs> Ginagawa ko lang once in a while, pero hindi ko naman siya inaaral talaga. Yeah, yeah. Matagal ko ng plano yung ano, mag-coffee shop. So, bakit hindi natin uh, lakihan na lang yung tinayo yung coffee shop sa tundo? Lagay natin sa mas magandang lugar. So, yan. Tulong mo na rin sa brother ko at sa wife niya. Eh, yun niya. Gusto ko rin yung ginawa ko na, na magkaroon ng coffee shop. Ah, so, dito kami ngayon sa Recto. Yep. which malapit sa UE. <laughs> so, full circle. Is, was yes. there a deliberate intention na gusto ko malapit sa baka sa roots ko malapit uh, din sa paste malapit din sa yes, kahit pa yes, yes. wow. so meron bang intention But actually nagulat ako nung ano nung sinabi ng kapatid ko na tol yung nanat namin place nasa recto lang doon kasi niya nung dinalo ko to parang oh, okay yes. sabi ko inababa ng panahon babagsak ko ulit ako sa recto <laughs> walking distance oh. diba UE oh walking distance But, Four years ako sa Baste, <laughs> tapos ilang years din ako sa UI. Alay mo, <laughs> pabalik ka pabalik dito. <laughs> dito din pala ako babagsak ulit. Pinatagal-tagal pa natin. So, nakatuwa din kasi, uh, yun nga, medyo nag-iba ulit yung ano ko eh. Naka, nakakausap ako ng mga estudyante ngayon. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Siyempre, minsan, nakakapagtanong sila ng advice sa akin na ako nung mga advice sa school. Siyempre, sabihin ko mag-aaral kayo ng maayos, di ba? <laughs> Siyempre, yun ang sasabihin mo. Oo. Oh, okay, huwag niyo sayangin yung tuition fee ng pinag-inaayin ah, nyo, di ba? <laughs> That was just part one of our The Shot List with Paul Lee and the amazing Tito Mikey Reyes. Tune in next week for part two. Now, more sports stories after the break. Don't go away. Stay tuned. You're watching The Game.
Welcome back to Watching the Game. Nothing beats making history on the FIFA Women's World Cup stage. Now, fresh from their return to home soil, the Philippines women's national football team was treated to a special lunch courtesy of Signal in partnership with Rexona, Okada, and Summit. Let's watch this. Today, we celebrate the historic win of Filipinas in the 2023 Women's FIFA World Cup. And we've seen that their journey has not been that easy, but because of their remarkable spirit and their great love for the sport and for the country, they were able to make a mark in history. Today was just really a celebration. No? It was a luncheon with our Filipinas team, celebrating the accomplishments that they had in the recent World Cup. You know, it was really historic, you know, what happened, us being making the World Cup and eventually even winning a game against the host New Zealand. So, um, Signal, alongside our partners and sponsors from Okada, Rigzona, and Summit Water, just wanted to welcome and give back to, to the Filipinas team. We just want to say thank you to everyone for supporting us um, back here at home and also in New Zealand. Um, the support was incredible, the experience was amazing, and it was largely thanks to you guys. Um, and we just want to shout out Signal TV, Rexana, Summit Water, and of course Okada Hotel for having this amazing lunch. Um, we could not do any of this without you. And you guys make us feel really special um, for doing something that we love to do day in and day out. And so we love representing you guys and thank you so much. Just being able to play for all these people who love and support us truly makes it that much better. I mean, we love representing our country and we love being able to represent each and every single one of our fans. And I truly think we have the best fans out there and we definitely feel it every single time we put on the jersey. It came to a point in the tournament for the last game, hearing everyone sing the anthem, I got a little teary-eyed. It sent chills down my spine, and just to see it grow for each game that has been coming, it's been amazing, and we really appreciate all the support from everyone. Being Filipino is special. It gives you an edge. You have that passion. You have that drive. You know what it means to love something so much and to work hard enough to go and grab it. So if you love any sport, whatever, any career, anything you want to do, you, if you're Filipino, you can put your mind to it and you'll do it. So, love on. Now back to some Gila's updates. The national squad is preparing for a closed-door tune-up game tonight at the Phil Sports Arena. Gila's will face the Ivory Coast national team rated 42nd in the FIBA rankings and the African squad is bracketed with defending champion Spain in Group G which will play in Jakarta, Indonesia. Gila's head coach Chot Reyes says this is the first time Gila's Filipinas will play as a complete team with Kai Soto and Jordan Clarkson in the lineup. It will be first of the three tune-up games that are aimed to prepare Gilas for their opponents during the World Cup tournament. Meantime, the Ninoy Aquino International Airport is all set for the arrival of guests for the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. The country's primary gateway has been dressed in tournament colors as its operations have been geared toward making both entry and exit of FIBA World Cup delegates as easy as possible. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 tips off on August 25 at the Philippine Arena. Thank you for joining us. I'm Diego Doria. I'm Paulo De Rosario, and this has been The Game.